How you doing? I'm Justin with Audio and Vision. We're a home theater installation company here in Mesa, Arizona. Today I want to talk to you about the Bose SoundTouch 10. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm talking about this speaker is because it kind of surprised me, some of the features of it, and was kind of is really cool. Um, compared to some, some other brands I deal with, which is Sonos, Heos, and uh, Polk Audio wireless Bluetooth speakers. So let me tell you about why this speaker is cool. Uh, it's a wireless speaker and it supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So the reason that's important is because most of the speakers out there fall into two categories, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And Bluetooth speakers are cool because you can take them anywhere. You can take them to a hotel room, on vacation, uh, to your friend's house to play music, or like I do, I take this guy to my job sites. A lot of the times I'm installing the sound system so there isn't one to actually play music on while I'm working. This guy makes it fun. Uh, so that's a Bluetooth speaker, very versatile. It's a direct connection between your phone and the speaker. A Wi-Fi speaker is a little bit different. Uh, they're more for a uh, whole home audio. Wi-Fi speakers can connect to each other to form one big sound system in your home, or you can separate the speakers to form smaller little sound systems in your home. As you wish, you can kind of combine them and separate them whatever you want. Uh, so if I had another one of these downstairs, like a Bose SoundTouch 20, I could combine them together and they'd both be playing the same music from my phone at the same time. If I wanted to take it with me to say Vegas and just have a little music in my hotel room. I could also do that and not have to worry about their network or their Wi-Fi uh, at the hotel room because it's a Bluetooth connection. It's directly between the phone and the speaker. So uh, let's talk about some of the benefits of this guy. It's a really good speaker. It's light, lightweight, um, easy to carry around. It's powered. It has to be plugged in the wall. It does not have a battery on it. It has something that I've never seen before on any other speaker, which is this little presets. All right, so this is a screenshot of my phone. I can show you what I'm doing. So the SoundTouch app right there is what I'm going to select, and I already downloaded it, so you can get that on iTunes or Google Play. Um, once you download it, you need to create an account, a Bose account, which I've done already. And what's kind of cool is uh, one of the things I noticed is if I go to internet radio, it asked for my zip code when I created the account. Now what it did with that information is it just gave me some of the local stations that are already here in my area. That's cool. And also you can just go down to global and select any station that you like in the world. So that's cool, local radio stations. I'll play one for you. Let's go to 93.3. There we go. So I'll turn it up. If I was not doing airplay, by the way, I would be able to turn up volume using my phone. So we got that. Now, what if I wanted to always listen to this station? Well, if you remember back in the old days, the old cars that had the little button that you pressed and hold the radio station on, um, it's the same thing. If you press the one, press and hold, it makes a sound. And now that station is programmed into the preset on number one. So I can come back to it anytime and press number one without using my phone and listen to that station. Same thing applies for, if you go up here to, I have Pandora, Pandora account. And I have a couple of favorite stations I like to listen to. So let's pull up this one. So we have a uh, music playing. This is a Pandora station. I can go ahead and press the and hold the number two. And it's programmed. So now, anytime I want, I can go back to, what was that, 93.3? There we go. And then I want to go back to Peter Gabriel on Pandora. And I can press that. It makes it really, really easy to use. Sometimes I don't want to have to bust out my phone to just play some music on the speaker. Uh, it also functions as just a standalone Bluetooth speaker. So let's try that out. So I press the input button right here, and it's on Bluetooth is highlighted. Okay, so I'm connected to SoundTouch 10. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a Pandora app on my phone. Here we go. There we go. So now I'm, I'm connected Bluetooth, 
from my phone to the speaker. Wi-Fi is not in involved at all. I could, I could take this over to uh, my friend's house or to a hotel room, or if I have a generator, if I have a camper, uh, you could put it in there as well. And it's using the LTE connection on my phone right now. Uh, my phone's not even on Wi-Fi. So very versatile speaker, awesome to have. I love it. It's got a great sound, uh, really deep bass. You can see the bass port in the back and uh, it just resonates really well. And I'm really happy with it. I'll probably be getting some more here in the future. Um, thank you. And this is my review on the Bose SoundTouch 10. Uh, come back and see my other reviews. I'll be doing Apple TV, uh, remote controls, video switchers, just, you know, any product I have lying around. So uh, I'm Justin with Audio and Vision. And again, we're a home theater company here in Mesa, Arizona. Give us a call if you need our help. Thanks.